Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to create Income Tax Lab in ERP Next. So Income Tax Lab is used to define income tax rates for different income tax lab. For example, I have one such example over here. You can see that this is one income tax lab that is 1 lakh to 2 lakh. So for this particular amount, I want the deduction rate to be of 5%. So this is just one example when we will create Income Tax Lab at that time you will understand exactly what I mean. Now in order to use income tax lab in ERP next, what you need to do is after you have created income tax lab, you need to link that with an employee. So that can be done in salary structure assignment. And then what we need to do is we need to enable some changes, something in the deduction component of the salary, which we will see again in some time. So after you have done that and after that salary component is included in the salary structure, automatic tax deduction will take place based on the income tax lab that we have created. So let's go and create. Now right now I'm in the payroll module and I'll go to the income tax lab over here. And let's create a new one. So let's say income tax slab 2022 and it is effective from consider first Jan. So here you need to define different taxable salary slabs. Like I gave you an example about one lakh to two lakh. So similarly, we can add over here. So let's say I'll add. So for this particular amount, let's say I want the deduction to be of two percent. And I'll define again. So from 2 lakh to, wait a second, 5 lakh. Consider that the percent deduction is 5%. Um, now one thing to note that this is just for the demonstration. Uh, the values are usually different. This is not the exact value. Now you can also define the conditions over here. So conditions can be, um, for example, let's say you want to specify that the base salary should be of certain amount, then only this particular income tax lab should be applicable. And maybe you want that the annual taxable earnings should be more than a particular value. So you can add the different conditions over here for each different, each of this particular slab over here. So one thing to note here is that this particular, I mean the amount that we have defined over here, uh, it will only be applicable if an employee's annual salary falls into this one of these buckets. Otherwise, the income tax slab won't be applicable for them. And over here, we can specify the other taxes such as we have the educational cess and all of that. So uh, we can uh, mention it over here also. All right, now we have another option that is allow tax exemption. So if we enable this, what happens is that while calculating the taxes based on this particular tax lab, um, employee need to submit their exemption declaration and the proof submission. So once they submit it, uh, we can allow some amount of tax exemption. So let's say if I select over here, you can see that I get this particular field in order to enter certain amount, like the standard tax exemption amount. So based on that amount the taxation tax exemption will be done for an employee so for now let's say i'm not selecting that and i'll submit it now okay so once an income tax lab is created what you need to do is you need to go into the salary component so we have different components one was the earning component and the another one was the um, deduction component. So let's go into this one pre-tax. It is a deduction component over here. And here you can see that um, once I select earning, you can see that I don't get certain options, but once I select deduction, I get certain options over here. So what I'll do is I'll select here. You can see that it is, is income tax component. Yes. And in order for this income tax lab to work, what I'll do is I'll select this one also. 
that is variable based on taxable salary. So what happens is this particular component is calculated automatically on the taxable income based on this income tax lab that which will be, we will apply. So okay, so what I've done is I have just enabled this one in order to make sure that based on this the values are calculated. So after you've done this, now what you need to do is you need to make sure that in the salary structure you have included this particular component. So I have one example of a salary structure here. You can see this. I have this earning component and here you can see the deduction which is pre-tax over here like this. So it is included in the salary component. Now what you need to do is you need to do a salary structure assignment. So let's create a salary structure assignment now. So you need to select an employee and you need to also select the one second income tax lab over here. So we can select the one that we have just now created and we'll select the date from when it is applicable. Now I will be doing a next video about a whole detailed explanation about salary structure assignment. So for now, just consider this one as a part of income tax lab explanation. Okay, so for this employee already exists, uh, it's fine. So you can see that in salary structure assignment, I have included income tax lab over here. So in order for this to work, you need to ma make sure that you are including um, whichever slab that is applicable over here as well as the salary structure also. So, and after you save it, what you need to do is you need to create a salary sleep. So for example, let's say I will create a salary sleep over here. Here, so you can see I have this um, over here deduction pre-tax. So this amount is automatically calculated in ERP next. Now what happens if I like if I select a salary sleep for let's say last month you can see the amount calculated will be different right now it is 125 right so let's say I'll select 1 April and you can see that it's 264 so it is actually calculated based on the taxable salary for the remaining uh, remaining time that is and also one thing to notice that over here this gross pay is 27,500 so how it is calculated is that this particular amount is taken annually so what like if the gross pay is 27,000 so you need to multiply it by 12 and based on that there is some formula that is enabled on the back end in ERP next so based on that we are getting this particular amount so this amount is dependent solely on this one so if I remove this one like home rent allowance consider that I'm removing it the this particular value will change okay I mean this is a part of a salary structure so it's not coming over here but the tax is solely dependent upon this gross pay over here so I hope everything is clear to you I hope the income tax lab is clear and we'll, we will be doing next video about salary structure assignment as well as salary sleep in detail so thank you so much for watching